Welcome back, and right now I'm going to do a demo called The Center of Mass and Balance. What I'm going to have is two books, and then I'm going to be balancing them over the edge of a table. So one of the books, I'll put something like this over the edge of a table, maybe less than half of it over the edge of the table, something like that. And then another book I will try to put as far out as I can and uh, find out how far I have to go until the system of two books falls over, right? So something like this, right? So how far can that book go out until this system falls over? Well, the idea of this is that in order to, do, to be able to do this kind of problem, we have to know what the center of mass of the system is, right? Once the center of mass of the system is right over the edge of the table, then the system will topple over. Right? It's going to become a point of unstable equilibrium and it will topple over. So I will have to measure the mass of each book, right? M1. I will have to measure the length of each book, X1, right? Uh, we, let's call this L1. And then the mass of this book, M2, and the length of that book, L2. So uh, well, uh, first I'll measure those and then I'll do the problem and see if my results come out good, okay? Okay, first I'm going to use this book called Welcome to the Universe. This is a book that I've been reading, Neil deGrasse Tyson, right? And also written by Richard Gott and Michael Strauss. It's a really good book, Welcome to the Universe. So I'm going to measure the mass of this, right? And then so I have here uh, 500, another 500, and this one is going to be 200. This is 180, so 1,380, and then this one is 4. Now I'm going to be measuring the length of it. I put the 30 centimeter mark at the left edge, right? And then the right edge is at 56. So that's gonna be 26 centimeters is its length, 26 centimeters. Okay, so let's record that. Okay, my second book is gonna be the Physics for Scientists and Engineers Survey and Hewitt. And um, I'm going to use the other book to leverage it on the double beam balance and then add some more weight. On top of that, I have all this weight and this weight and then whatever this one is showing. 170. And 176. So add 176 and then uh, count all of these. This one is uh, 100. Two hundred. That's going to be three hundred together. Three hundred. Another two hundred. That's five hundred. Another five hundred. That's going to be a thousand. This one is going to be. 1,500, and then this is going to be 50 grams. Okay, now I'm measuring the length of this book. I have the 30 centimeter mark on the left side, and I've got the 58 centimeter mark, so that's going to be 28 centimeters is the length. Let's record that, 28 centimeters. Okay, so these are the conclusions from the measurements. We have got the lighter one, which I'm going to put on top, is 1,384 grams. Its length is 26 centimeters. The bottom one is 1,550 plus another 176 plus whatever the top book weighed. So we have to add all that. So let's calculate that. Its length was 28 centimeters. So now, if I put the bottom one, let's decide what we want to do. So let's say I put um, 10 centimeters, 10 centimeters of the bottom book out of the uh, out of the edge, right? Then the question is, where can I place, how far out can I place the top book, right? So the idea is that in order for this thing to be balanced, the center of mass of the system has to be right here. So let's put my coordinate axis right here. X, Y coordinate axis, right? And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say this, if the center of mass of the system, if x center of mass, and the formula for the x center of mass is x1 m1 plus x2 m2, then you divide that by m1 plus m2, right? If the center of mass of the system 
is uh, gonna be what? Well, since this, the total length of this is equal to 28 centimeters, if I have 10 centimeters of it uh, outside, that means from here to here is uh, 18 centimeters, right? So if the central mass of the system comes out to be 18 centimeters, right, then the system will be on the verge of um, uh, falling. So that's the, that's the most out that you can put the top book, is for the, the total center mass of the system to be 18. Right? So how do we compute this? Well, x1 is going to be the center of mass of m1 from where I, wherever I put my coordinate axis. Right? So where is the middle of this one here, right here? So the distance from here to here is x1. So since it's 28 centimeters, half of 28 is 14. So the center of mass of the bottom book is going to be 14 centimeters from the left edge of the book, right? So x1 is going to be 14 centimeters. m1 is going to be the mass of that, which is 3110, 3110. x2 is going to be the center of mass of wherever this is, right? So from here, from here all the way to there. So let's say the distance here is going to be what? Um, x. I'm solving for how far out of the top book the how far out from the bottom book could you place the top book? So I'm calling the distance between their edges x, right? So then what's going to be the distance from the center of mass of this to, uh, what's going to be the distance from the coordinate axis all the way to the center of mass of the top book, right? The x2, this distance right here, all the way to x2. Well, the distance from here to here is uh, 28 plus x, and then you divide, uh, you subtract half of the, the book. That's one way we can do it, right? From the distance from here to the edge of the bottom book is 28. So my x2 is going to be 28 plus, right? Uh, add x to it, right? And then subtract half of the length of the top book. So that's going to be 13 centimeters. So that will tell me the distance of that point from the xy axis, right? So 28 plus x minus 13. So that's gonna be x2. Then I'm gonna multiply that by m2, which is 1384. Okay. And then uh, divide that by 3110 plus 1384. Okay. So then this is gonna be what? For, well, if the center of mass equals 18 centimeters, then the system uh, is on the verge of falling, right? So let's uh, multiply that out. 4494 minus 43540 minus 20,760 equals 1384x. So it, the top one is 12 centimeters. Well, remember the whole thing was 26 centimeters, right? So that means I can have almost half of it on the outside, almost half of that on the outside. Okay, so let's do this and let's see how it will work out, whether our experiment and our demonstration work out. Okay, you can see now I've got the 70 centimeter mark right here over the edge of the table, and then I've got all the way to 80 centimeters to the edge of the book. So 10 centimeters of the book, of the heavy book is lying outside, right? Then I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna take the top book and you can see here, nothing is falling. So then take the top book out, out, out. Okay. I've got six centimeters. I've got the 70 centimeter mark at the edge of the bottom book. I've got six centimeters of it going over the top. Right. So we're safe now. It's not falling. I've got seven. I've got eight. I've got nine. Okay. Right now we are at 11.8. The edge of the book is 11.7 or 8. Uh, sliding this is a bit difficult because there's friction. So right now we are at 11.9, 11. 11. Point, almost 12. And you can see then it's teeter-tottering. It wants to fall. So it's very close to the result that we got. It's pretty much right at uh, the edge of it is a bit curved. So you can kind of see the edge of it is around 12, even past 12. So you can see here, this is, if I let go, it wants to topple, and then I'll, I'll do it for the good effect of it. And then gravity takes over, right? 
So the wonder and beauty of physics. This is a good demonstration of the concept of center of mass and how it helps us to find out where the balance point is. In order for something to balance over the ledge, its center of mass needs to be uh, basically at the tip point. And then this is how the steps shown here are the steps that you need to calculate the center of mass. Okay? Thank you very much.